Good morning students. So now we have entered into the Victorian period which began in 1837 and ended in 1901. This particular age was marked by the industrialization. Yes, in the previous uh, age, in the Romantic period, we had seen how much William Wordsworth was tensed about the industrialization. But now in this age, the industrialization grew up to 10 times more than the previous one, the Romantic age. So the duration of Victorian period is from 1837 to 1901 because uh, Queen Victoria came onto the throne in 1837 when she was 18 years old and uh, in 1901 she died but different books have different opinions some books say that the victorian era started in 1834 or 1833 uh, but for a rough idea we can say that queen victoria came onto the throne on 1837 and later she died in 1901 so this gives us a rough idea that the duration of victorian age is from 1837 to 1901 so the very first movement, you can say the very first movement in this Victorian period was pre raphaelite movement, which was much more focused on uh, showing the realities in their paintings, in their work of art. Yes, the same way William Wordsworth was tensed about industrialization and the society, the same way pre raphaelite brotherhood, the poets and painters of this particular literary movement were also danced about the hypocrisy of the society or you can say the realism of the society so they were much more depicting the realism the reality of the society in their works in their paintings in their poems so on and so forth they were often condemned for showing the vulgarity in their work of art and that is one of the reason why uh, a lot of people went on to criticize pre raphaelite brotherhood for instance, look at this painting, which is made by William Holman Hunt. You can see how an unmarried woman is playing the role of mistress to the gentleman. So you see in the painting, a woman is sitting on the lap of a man. And this is showing, this is depicting the sexuality or you can say prostitution, which was prevalent and during the Victorian period. Let's look at another painting made by Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Here you see, this is a picture of a virgin girl, a young girl, a girl who just woke up from her sleep this is how a girl looks like away from all the impurities this is the ideal painting that dg rosity have created you see how pure the woman is uh, looking like uh, she is looking like virgin uh, a very pure young woman but now look at this uh, picture very closely look at the face of the woman the face is mysterious and does not look like the ideal face of young pure girl. In earlier times, that is how a girl was presented. A young girl, a virgin girl, a pure girl. But look at the face of the girl now. In the painting, you will see something mysterious. Something uh, which is impure, which is not so virgin. Alright, uh, so this is how DG Rosetti used to link the paintings used to link the sexuality with religion. Let's look at another picture by Digit Rosetti that is of a young woman. It shows a woman, a perfect beautiful woman that can be also linked to sexual literature and art. So now you can understand where our discussion is going towards. You see, uh, like these uh, poets, these painters were much more interested in uh, putting religion and you can say the hypocrisy, the reality of Victorian period. They are trying to mix these two things. And mo in most of the paintings, women are the part of these paintings. And sometimes they were criticized as they are not pre raphaelite brotherhood, but they are pre raphaelite sisterhood. This is sort of sarcastic remark for pre raphaelite brotherhood uh, poets and uh, artists. But they were very hardworking. You see, in one of the paintings made by Milius, you see here, there is Ophelia, who was a character in the play Hamlet, Hamlet by Shakespeare. This painting is made by Milius, and it took him five to six months to make this painting. For five to six months, he continuously worked on this painting for 12 hours, for 13 hours, regularly, every day, waking up and every day working on this painting, and took him five to six months of 12 to 13 hours every day. You see, the, the hard work, uh, the, the dedication they were putting into their work of art. Talent is not everything. Everyone has talent. Everyone has some kind of talent. There are a lot of talented people around you. But the thing matters most is whether they have the same dedication, whether they can do the hard work to harness that talent or not. The world is full of talented people, but just a few of them 
became famous and among all of them were these pre-Raphaelite people, pre-Raphaelite poets. So in this video we are going to talk about these talented poets and uh, painters which are a part of pre-Raphaelite movement and we are also going to look at the points that are important from Eurycenian perspective. But before we continue our discussion on pre raphaelite Brotherhood, if you are one of those students who are preparing for UDC net examination or gate examination, then you can simply check out our study material from our official website, limitlessliterature.com. We are providing organized study material on both paper 1 and paper 2. Check the link in the description below to know more about our study material. Now, without any further delay, let's continue our discussion on pre raphaelite Brotherhood. So, as we discussed that pre raphaelite wanted to create the reality in their paintings they were they, they were not so much afraid of the society whether the society is criticizing them or not uh, but they were much more interested in showing the reality 400 to 500 years ago there was a painter named Raphael and he used to make the paintings of religion he used to make the paintings of Jesus God and and try to make the paintings which have which have link association to religion but these pre raphaelite Brotherhood people were not much interested in the imaginative world. It's not, not much more interested in main, making the paintings of Jesus, God and all other things. They were much more interested in showing the reality to the people in context with religion. They don't want to create the paintings of angels, gods, but they want to show the reality to the people. And their paintings have created a lot of controversies, a lot of scandals around the Victorian period. So Raphael, the poet Raphael, who was uh, there 400 to 500 years ago, actually in uh, he was a friend of Leonardo da Vinci. You must have heard the name of Leonardo da Vinci. And he was a friend of Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, he was making the paintings on religion, gods and angels. Uh, but before Raphael, there were the painters who were also showing the reality. So uh, pre-Raphaelite people were in, were much more inspired by the poets, by the painters or poets who came before Raphael. So that is from where they got their name, pre-Raphaelite. That is from there they got their name. And the list of poets and painters which were related to this particular literary movement, pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, was Dante Gabriel Rossetti and his brother William Michael Rossetti. Other members were William Holman Hunt, John Everest Milius, the one who has created the painting of Ophelia of Hamlet, and another member were James Collinson, F. G. Stephens, William Dice, and Ford Middox Brown. Okay, so try to remember the name of these poets and painters because they were already being asked in the previous year questions, and also try to remember and the name of the magazine which was associated with pre raphaelite Brotherhood that was The Germ. Yes, there was a magazine titled Germ which was associated with pre raphaelite Brotherhood. They used to publish their work and pieces of art and paintings in that particular magazine. And another question which was in the previous year UGC net examination was that who coined the term fleshly school of poetry for criticizing pre raphaelite Brotherhood? So the answer to that question was Robert William Buchanan. So that was a person who uh, you can say criticized uh, pre raphaelite Brotherhood. Actually, a lot of people uh, go on to criticize these poets and painters. Uh, even Charles Dickens also said that uh, these poets are immoral, these painters are immoral, Im immoral because they are mixing up religion with sexuality and they are mixing, they are showing the reality um, in a different way. And so that is not so moral thing to do. So Charles Dickens also uh, blamed them during that period. But it was John Ruskin who defended these poets and painters that whatever they are showing is the reality and there is nothing wrong in that. And uh, if you look at the paintings, you, you will think that these are not the paintings, but as if someone has clicked the photograph, that much clarity in, the, in the, those paintings at that period of time. And yes, there was another question in the previous UGC net examination that uh, with which literary movement John Ruskin is associated with? So the answer to that question was John Ruskin was associated with pre-Raphaelite movement. Yes, John Ruskin was not the part of pre-Raphaelite movement, but he was sort of a person who defended the image of pre-Raphaelite brotherhood. 
from literature perspective you don't have to go through the works of these poets and painters you simply have to remember the name of all the poets who were associated with this literary movement you have to remember the all the members of this literary movement but except and uh, dg rosetti that is dante gabriel rosetti you have to study that particular poet uh, a little bit of detail and exceptionally his poem the blessed demoiselle yes the poem the blessed demoiselle has already been asked in the previous year ugc net examination and other phd entrances or state examination the questions were there from this particular uh, po poem so you have to remember you have to study this poem in a little detail to understand uh, what type of writing they used to write all right so this is what all i have to share in this video i hope you found the video worth your time if you're new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on english literature that's it for this video thank you